first of all, we're going to give all praise to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Rakha the Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Kodash. Give double honors to our apostles of main, Great Minstone, our spiritual teachers. Salutations to our brothers that goes out on the highways and the byways, risking their lives week in and week out. And, and Shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters supporting this ministry. Shalom. Like I said, we're in the end times, yeah? And we want things to happen quicker and quicker. All right? This Edomite came into this camp, right? This camp is called Israel Lamp of Fire, right? And the name of the video is ILOF Infowars Came to Camp, right? I don't have enough space to record the whole thing, but I'm going to record, I'm going to play part of it. Yeah, but, you know, they're making a move, all right? You know, they're trying to demonize us. But they, listen, no matter what they do, it's not going to work. So there's no point in them, they are for them to wait, all right, for the right time. Do it now because no matter how skillful or technical you come across, you won't win, right? You're just going into slavery, full stop. Right? But you're going to see it here now, right? How this Edomite, right, from bold as ever, right, coming up, telling the man that they're, they're big pussies, eh? I tell you what, right, every word you say, bitch, Right? You're going to have to make an account for that. All right, so I'm going to play this. It's um 21 minutes long, um, so you could go back and watch it. But yeah, they, 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 they're trying, you know, they, they, you know, they want to do a thing. I just hope and pray that they, they start now. Don't wait. Just do it. Because the end product is that you're not going to win. It's impossible to win, Esau. You won't win. Right? We need to get out of this place now. So hurry up and do what you have to do. All right? Torture us. Okay? Put us under the guillotine. Okay? Poison us. Do anything you want to do to us. St do it now. Start now. As of today. Stop delaying, right? I know it's the most high in charge of everything anyway. But stop fucking around. Start it now. All right? Start now. That's right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Uh -huh. Prepare slaughter for his children. No, I said prepare slaughter for his church, meaning the Caucasian race. Prepare slaughter for their church. Go ahead. Why? For the iniquity of their fathers. For what your forefathers did during the time of slavery. So you won't disavow it. Do you think it's okay to, to say that to teenagers? Go ahead. That they do not rise, uh -huh. nor possess the land, uh -huh. nor fill the face of the world with cities. Now, now give me a uh, Luke. I'm going to take that as a guess. Do you guys think it's okay to say that? Somebody asked her if she thinks it's okay. Typical demon. Don't want to let go. We believe what the Bible says. Do you think it's okay to treat them like that? Yes or no? 
Watch your devil. Oh my God. 
Obadiah, give me Obadiah 15, huh? Can I ask you a question? Yeah, if you're going to be, if you're going to allow me to answer and then ask you a question, sure. go ahead. My question is, why are you making cut. things that our forefathers did when this book was written thousands of years before any of that happened? Let me ask, okay. Here it is cut. This is the reason, because we believe in the Bible. We believe in what the Bible says. Now, do you believe in the Bible? Here it is cut, no. So then, how, how, can you, how can a statement like that come out of your mouth right. when the Bible has prophecies about the end days, Christ coming back to set up his kingdom on you? do believe in that, right? Well, how can you believe in it? That Bible was written thousands, thousands of years ago. Is that Answer my question. Cut. You just asked me a question. How can I believe in cut. that was written thousands of years ago? You say you're a Christian. You believe in Christ. You believe he's coming back. Now, my question is, how can you believe in that? That was written thousands of years ago. I'm going to answer you. Go ahead. What you're saying is that we deserve to die because white people, so, so my answers hundreds of years ago, say because of, because of what we did to you. What do you think about it? What do I think about it? Yeah. I think it's horrible, obviously. So what do you think should happen to you? Nothing. Now read read this, read this. Go ahead. Don't read this stuff. This has a book that was written 2,000 years ago, right? Then, then you can't have it both ways, dude. You can't say, why are you believing in a book that was written 2,000 years ago, and then you say that you believe in the same book? Read. This a book of... This is the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. Read. Be not deceived. What did God say? Be not deceived. He said, don't be deceived. You're obviously deceived. That's right. Read. God is not mocked. You can't make mockery of the most high. Are you this crazy. Is why. This is why. Read. For whatsoever a man soweth. Because if a man sows whatever he sows, read. That shall he also reap. You're going to reap Car what you sow. You know why? Listen to that. That's right, bro. Upon all the heathen. That's upon right, bro. The heathen, the African, the Arabs, the Chinese, the Japanese, and especially the white people, man. That's right. What does heathen mean? As thou hast done, as you guys have done, rape, robbery, murder, and slavery. Go ahead. It shall be done unto thee. So now, all of a sudden, the black, we read the Bible, we racist now. We bring out that yeah. ugly, dirty uh, history, and we are racist now. You're racist. Hey. Look at her now. Look at her. Uncle Tom. Look at her. Look at watch her. So listen, brothers and sisters, we're in that time now, okay? So be prepared. I think our elders said, you know, watch out because you know they're gonna want to try and come and you know interview us and stuff like that. But be prepared. Shalom.